Well, today is Thursday. Uh, I had the clash yesterday, and then uh, I got done with that at two o'clock, actually, which was good. From there, I had gone to the um, Yale uh, Heart Department. Uh, we have a uh, a Yale uh, Heart Clinic actually right in my town, which is great. Um, and uh, I use Yale quite a bit, so I just went over there and I said, "This is this is a problem here." Uh, so they took me in. Uh, immediately and they did an EKG and the EKG came back okay and I'm saying to them well something is not right here so they says well they're gonna put a monitor on me so right now I'm wearing a monitor they put it on at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon I am to bring it back 3 o'clock today uh, and then they will look at it and decide from there what happens or whatever uh, meanwhile they did push my appointment up because I had my yearly appointment coming up on the 27th or 8th yeah the 25th and it was normally going to be on the 28th so uh, that's how that works so anyway um, that's where I'm at now I f still don't feel a hundred percent but I don't know if it's just me at this point or if it's you know something else I don't know so uh, I will find out a little bit more, I guess, after they read the monitor and tell me there. Now, if you go back to my videos back a few years when I originally, I was actually talking about it last year the year before, but uh, when I had my original problem with my heart, the uh, heart attack, um, I had it, I was going on for four weeks. Now I had what they, what everybody said was top shelf uh, heart doctor, uh, well known, and they actually used this doctor when Yale bought St. Raphael's, and they were going to transition them together into one, uh, incorporate them uh, into one cardiology group, and they used Dr. Weiske, which is the doctor I was using at the time for that so I mean and he has I don't know 10 15 other doctors in his group under him so he's supposedly top shelf well sometimes top shelf isn't always the best because they maybe assume too much but I was having problems so I made an appointment to go see him and uh, he says it sounds like acid reflux he took an EKG the EKG showed okay. Now again, I'm going back a few years. So, um, he says it's got to be acid reflux. Well, meanwhile, I'm in pain. I'm shuffling my feet. It hurts to breathe. It hurts to move. I'm sweating like a pig. I'm wearing wet towels around my neck all the time. I really can't get dressed because of the wet towels hanging off my neck uh, to try to stay cool. Um, you know, I mean, it was just miserable. So I went to see him the next week, and I'm telling him, Doc, there's got to be something wrong here. Does another EKG. EKG comes back, okay. He says, no, nah, I'm telling you, it's got to be acid reflux. All right. So I called up my acid reflux doctor, and... Uh, they said, well, they can make an appointment for me, you know, in about a week. Well, if my GP calls them, I can probably get in right away. So I called my GP, and I says to him, I says, this is the story. He says, well, if you're in that much pain, you should go to the ER. <clears throat> well, we have our choice here. We have two ERs. We have the one in the main hospital itself at Yale, and then there's another one the other side of town going in the opposite direction which is a little bit smaller uh, it's a smaller type hospital um, you know they don't do anything real major there but there's an ER there as well and, and both of them are equally as good uh, as far as you know emergency and if it becomes any more than that 
well then they'll ship you to New Haven via ambulance but anyway <coughs> I went there they seen me immediately they put an EKG machine on my and it came back okay so the doctor says to me it sounds like acid reflux now this is the Yale doctor an ER doctor he says but you know it could be a case of angina <clears throat> so when have you had your heart you know stress test or heart check lately I said well I just had a monitor put on me you know back about five six months ago or so I don't remember the exact time I says and everything was fine they told me I had a heart like a horse I says but uh, and I seen my heart doctor you know twice so far and you know he goes well you know it could be a case of angina so you know go home make an appointment to see your doctor so I'm thinking, because you know, I really wasn't up on the term, I'm thinking, okay, well, if it's not that serious, he wouldn't, you know, I mean, he wouldn't send me home if it was serious. You know, so it must be okay. So it must have something to do with acid reflux. I was a little naive to the word angina. <clears throat> and uh, I go home. I see the heart doctor one more time. And one more time, the EKG. So now that's, this is four EKGs now. And um, he sends me home with a acid reflux. So it finally came up to the appointment with my gastro. I go see him on a Thursday or Friday. I think it was Thursday. <coughs> he says to me, no, it was Friday. He says to me, we're going to go down <coughs> and check it out. He says on Tuesday. He says, however, it does not sound like acid reflux. I don't know if you pull the muscle, if you, you know, uh, snap the rib. He says, I mean, but it doesn't sound like acid reflux. He says, but we'll go down Tuesday and we're going to take a look and we'll figure out what the problem is. Meanwhile, I want you to go to your doctor, your heart doctor, Dr. Weiske, and I want you to have a stress test on Monday. So he set up the appointment for me to have the stress test on Monday. Now I always use the Guilford office, all the time. I've seen this doctor for 10 years and I've always used the Guilford office. Um, so I go to Guilford office on Monday as the appointment says. I get into the office and I tell them I'm there for a stress test and the receptionist tells me I'm in the wrong office. I go, well, no, this is the office I always came to. He goes, no, well, your Dr. Weiske is in New Haven today. You're supposed to be in New Haven. I said, well, first of all, I says, I can never get to the New Haven office unless they come and pick me up in a wheelchair because the parking lot is like two blocks away from the office, which is stupid, in my opinion. You have a heart office, a heart doctor, and they put the parking lot two blocks away. You know, But anyway... Uh, I says, listen, I'm in pain, and I started using some four-letter words, and I started getting a little heavy on them. Uh, meanwhile, I'm standing there, and my skin tone has actually started to change color, too. Um, but I'm standing there in pain with a wet towel hanging around my neck. My shirt is open. I look like a bum. Right? The waiting room was filled with people. I start getting really indecent with four-letter words, um, you know, and... Uh, people in the waiting room actually started to leave the waiting room and go in the hallway so the receptionist calls one of the doctor's associates he calls me into the back room he does the um, nitroglycerin and a pill an aspirin and the pain had gone away boom done wow I go whoa perfect give me a script for those things I'm out of here he goes, no. He says, the only place you're going is to Yale New Haven. You're having a heart attack. I go, oh, shit. So they called an ambulance. Ambulance took me to Yale New Haven. Now, where I'm going with this is I had four EKGs in four weeks, and every one of them showed okay. Meanwhile, when I get to the doctor, to the hospital, and they start going up my groin into my vein, into my heart, and I'm watching them while they're doing this on the monitor. Um, there was like a, well, there, they said it was 100%, but it was like 99.9999%. The only blood that was actually getting through was the extra 
uh, vessels that the heart developed to get the blood around the, the blockage. So I was lucky enough to where my heart started to manufacture other blood vessels around the blockage to, you know, to bring the blood in. Um, that's the only reason why I was alive and alive today. And, um, and it was giving me just enough to be alive as long as I didn't do anything. So anyway, going back to they put the stent in and everything was fine after that actually. But other than that, um, my last stress test was fine. They told me live my normal life, do what I normally do, just don't overdo it. And so that's what I've been doing. Um, and I try to stay active. But uh, they gave me the, uh, the EKG yesterday and it came up okay. Um, so I'm still not totally satisfied with that. Only because I still don't feel myself, if you know what I mean. So I'm trying to think if it's anything that I may have done other than cut that wood. You know, because I cut a little more than I normally do when I do. Um, you know, and uh, I'm thinking, what else have I done, you know? Uh, at night, I don't do a whole lot of picking. I have a yogurt, you know, and I eat some of these little cheese things. These are just a regular cheese puff, mega puffs, right? Uh, Regular cheese flavor, nothing fancy, and I'll tell you, I like them. They work great for me. 41 of them are something like, uh, 41 of them are, is 140 calories. Now, that's a lot of calories, kind of, but when you consider you got 41 of them, and if you don't shove them all in your mouth at the same time, and you eat one at a time, they last you an hour or two through the night. They, they help with the picky. So, in that case, it's a good thing. And they've been working. I mean, that's not the only thing I'm doing. I mean, I've been working my ass off on the addition, too. But I've dropped 43 pounds. So, I mean, uh, between eating right and, and not doing a lot of picking and, and things, it, uh, it's working for me. But anyway, uh, I was thinking, what have I done? You know, now the last couple nights, I had a couple little, those little Reese's cups, the little mini ones, you know, they're individually wrapped and like five of them may make one of the normal size. You know, so I had a couple of those and uh, two of those little mini Twix or tricks, you know, Twix things, uh, chocolate cookie bar thing, you know what I'm talking about. And I had a couple of those little things, they're what, an inch and a half long? You know, so I don't think I had enough chocolate to where, you know, the chocolate was giving me any type of problems. And if so, today being Thursday, I would figure this started on Saturday night, Sunday morning, that it would probably be out of my system by now. All right.